Hi there, welcome all future CISSPs. We are on to CISSP Success Toolkit and uh, the twister of the day uh, today is number 95. So let's go through and understand what the question is. I want you to take a pause here for one minute and answer this question and then I will go through my explanation. So let's start. You are the IT security manager of a financial institution and you want to implement a technology that ensures secure communication between devices on the same VLAN. What data layer technology should you consider to provide this secure communication within the LAN? So the key word here is uh, implement a technology. Second thing is between devices on the same VLAN. And the third thing here is the data link layer technology. So as per the options, option number A, B, C, and D, all of the, them are, uh, you can say, a layer two technology only. And uh, let's go through them one by one. Number one is virtual LAN. Uh, VLANs are mostly configured uh, to make sure uh, that you have the appropriate level of segmentation in your network. And segmentation by far is the most important concept in entire domain four because segmentation prevents any kind of, uh, you can say, uh, lateral movement. Then the option number B is address resolution protocol. Uh, this also works on layer two as well. Uh, and uh, this have a mapping between the MAC address of the system and the IP address as well. Uh, however, uh, this is not the technology to make sure that you have a secure communication uh, within the VLAN. The third one is IEEE 802.1x, uh, which is also called as network access control. And this is the technology which is implemented in almost every organization nowadays to make sure that only authorized, uh, you know, devices are able to connect to your network. And once only authorized networks are connecting to your networks, uh, I think that is where, you know, uh, this will also help in secure communication. So out of the given option, I think C is the best, even though it's not perfectly matching here because it's saying about secure communication. 802.1x is one of the control which actually uh, helps you uh, to make sure that only the authorized uh, devices are connected to the network but indirectly it will also support secure communication as well. <clears throat> the last option here is media access control, which is called as Mac and uh, filtering, right? So Mac filtering is also one of the control which you can implement to make sure only authorized uh, systems are connecting with your network. But uh, the major catch here is uh, in some cases, the attacker is also able to manipulate the MAC address as well, or you can say spoof the MAC address as well. So out of the given options uh, for this particular question, I will go with uh, the option number C, which is IEEE 802.1x. Uh, that's the right answer. I hope you are liking this entire series and if you like it and you also want that other people should also get benefited from the same, uh, feel free uh, to subscribe to my channel and you know uh, share it uh, with your friends and family as well, uh, which will help them not only to pass CISSP, uh, but this is also required for CSUM, C-RISC and those kind of exams as well. With that said, I will see you in the next video.